the big idea behind the 1.99 million research project funded by the ESRC and FID on inclusive finance is that finance has to be inclusive of all the main economic agents at the household level, households being able to access credit and key finance. At the company level, even the small companies like medium and small enterprises being able to access finance. Governments being able to access the international capital markets. It's that access and affordability with free information that we are trying to research and pin down in this particular project. The project has three critical elements. The first is to pin down the institutions that really generate inclusive finance. The second component is to pin down the capital flows, the various dimensions of both public and private capital flows that can impact on domestic financial systems in order to be able to achieve inclusive finance. And the third element is the idea of financial innovations and technological diffusion to enable inclusive finance to happen at the household level, company level, and at the government level. This project does benefit from being part of a large consortium. It is led by Birmingham Business School at the University of Birmingham, but we also have partners in other universities in the United Kingdom and in the European Union, Africa and North America. And this includes Loughborough University, where I'm from, at the University of Nottingham, the Institute for Development Studies at Sussex, the School of Oriental and African Studies, and the Overseas Development Institute in the UK. In the European Union, we have a partnership with the University of Groningen. We also have a partnership with Laval University in Canada and with Columbia University in the United States. In Africa, we have a partnership with the University of Ghana in Accra, but we think perhaps the most important strength of this consortium is that it includes the intimate involvement of the African Economic Research Consortium. One of the key elements which uh, make this project stand out is the wide range of uh, uh, key stakeholders or the audience that the project uh, targeting at or focusing on. Um, we have not just the policy maker, the usual stakeholder, but also we have um, uh, the private sectors, um, the individual households and also researchers uh, are mind when we design this project. To give you one example, one of the projects that we are uh, looking at is the um, uh, interbank network in East African region and also the risk, con risk of contagion arise from the interbank connection. Uh, among the banks. So obviously this is going to have important implications to commercial banks who operate or who are involved in the interbank market um, but also policymakers would find it interesting to be able to use the analytical tool to identify, monitor and also to control the systematic risk which affects the financial stability of the East African region. So this is only one example. We also have projects which look at, for example, mobile banking, which have an important implication to um, the developer of the uh, network and the individual use of uh, uh, mobile banking as well. Uh, so yeah, this is the key element for a project, targeting at a wide range of um, uh, stakeholders.